Hey guys, Burr here from TGS with another Assassin's Creed Odyssey live stream. Overall, it's number seven. Today, I'm just going to continue uh, my current playthrough of the game. Go ahead and turn this off. I was playing Forza Horizon 4 with Schmag earlier. I need an overlay on. We're getting decently into the game, but there's still so much to do. It's a pretty massive game, just like this. But now, on to this. Uh, we're just going to continue on. We're going to check all locations, check side missions, check main missions, and kind of just continue on. We were uh, mopping up a new area. And that's pretty much it. Uh, for that, so we're just going to continue on where I left off yesterday. We're going to play for an hour, 45 to 2 hours, somewhere in there. Uh, changed up the schedule and did PUBG yesterday instead of tonight, so the whole schedule changed accordingly. And if the schedule stays the same for the rest of the week, while we'll Assassin's Creed Odyssey uh, 8 a.m. tomorrow to like 12.30ish at the latest, and uh, on Sunday, 12 to 2. I'm also probably going to plan to do this six times next week as well. We could free up some space for a different game, but I decided to postpone the co-op game on the basis there's just so many games out now. Uh, so many games coming out that I just probably shouldn't bother uh, trying to add something else in the schedule. Quick review of the quests. We're going to hold off on from the shadows until we can uh, maybe we can just kill all of them at that point. I mean, I don't think we need to do any of these at this point. I'm pretty sure there's a whole other branch of, you know, Odyssey chapters to go through. This is kind of safe for the end of the game because you have the final 50s. You have 350, four level 50 people. So even though this one's 18, I think I'm just going to save them. Uh, we're definitely going to do the Memories of Woken, probably today. We have a side mission. Minotaur D Force. We have the Prince of Persia. The Dunce Conundrum. They're all pretty far away, like this one's far as heck away. These are not too insanely far away, but they're far away. So all I have to do is turn this in, apparently. I'm about to just mark that. I was doing this Collodian boar, but it's a legendary boar. And uh, even though I'm like four levels ahead of it, its health like depreciates at the slowest ratio ever. And then it like regains health because the arena is tiny as heck and the boar just naturally fights you. And you end up out of the arena. It's just a bunch of confusion. And that boar is like tough as the damn uh, elephants in the last game, so... Kind of just moved on from them. So we got 334. I just want to get the battle axe. Or the giant mace. Ooh, 368. Pull that out. May not be anything legendary, but it'll do the job. With this better inventory, you may actually have a chance to go back to that board, but I'm not making it a priority today. And the Pilgrim's one. I'm gonna have to mop all this up. We have a new ability. That seems like a pretty good deal. I think I'm going to go with this, and this is my next two for bow or warrior. Probably add one of these over here. Ooh. Whew. 
That's one badass arrow. And A to B. There's so many good options right now. I mean, I'm kind of good to go with my current setup, so maybe we should go for assassination uh, reductions. As that's one of the ways I get caught the most, is I'll be assassinating and someone across the half the map will spot me. I'm gonna deal with it there. Real quick, I do want to say if you watch this, drop a like, sub, go to thegamersociety.com, go in our polls, check out our schedule, go in our clubs on Xbox, the Gamer Society Fan Club, TGS Screenshot Club. Getting rid of these. I'm not planning to do this yet. I'd rather just prepare my character along the way and get these people all at the end in one massive, awesome sweep of just getting everybody. Apparently, I killed some of them though. There's Alpenor. That's Epictetus. And just like find them around the map. So, this is another thing I'm wondering. Why the hell does this always have. Ah. These are the two. There's the Basic Odyssey and there's the Cult of Cosmos going on at the same time. Nothing in contrast. Let me check the map before we get started. I think that's out of the area we're in. This is 16, which probably means it's fine to go to. So we try to get out here uh, from there. Even though it's not part of what we're doing, I almost just want to venture over here. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Let's get to uh, this other point first. I don't see any boats anywhere, though. Let's check back in here. So that's pretty dang far to be swimming. I mean, I can always swim out and fast travel back in if we need to. Probably pretty dangerous to be doing as well, considering there are sharks out and about, but let's just go for it. Uh, yep, the shark. Probably a crashed boat. Version remain. That is a deep one. deep 
nightmares are made of. I once had a random ass nightmare, had nothing to do with anything. I don't know why it came to mind, but uh. Imagine I was like deep as shit like this and I had to swim up, but you don't know where the hell the top is. Just looking out into that so you don't know, you know, how far the surface is. Kinda of exactly like this. Just came up. So where is this person we gotta go to? Maybe why is it just fast travel there to turn in the quest? So let's fast travel down there. Thank you, Mistios. There you go. Turned it in. Let's look at the map. I don't care to go to the message board, to be honest. It's just a bunch of like daily challenges, pretty much, to sum it up. Four is a pain in the ass. Get my horse and start heading up. Let's ride. Dun dun dun. Tell you what, you have to scare it away. If you roar like a lion, it'll run. 
Good job. Now run along home. You must be a physician. Yes, I'm Lycaon. You must be a Mystheus. Are you here for treatment? That depends. Will I have to roar for you too? <laughs> Sometimes the best medicine I can give my patients is a dose of hope. I take it you're not in need of care. I'm healthy as a horse. You look strong and prepared for anything. My patients need mandrake herbs. There's a part of them growing by a little stream southeast of here. Are you too busy to pick them? Too chewy. A pack of wolves is resting near the stream. I'll pay you generously for your trouble. You know how to talk to Mystios. Is that all you want? The mandrake herbs? For now. Bring them back to me, and I'll pack at them for my patients. Then we'll see. I'll bring you the herbs. You said they were southeast of here. Yes, by a little stream northeast of Kira. The flowers haven't bloomed yet, but the leaves are a distinctive gray-green. Thank you. Let's see. Let's track the quest. Yeah. The herbs would be near a little stream. That looks like it. So shy is multiple dogs. Okay, wolves. But dogs are basically wolves genetically on the same chains. This armor so much better. Especially with the perks I have for health and armor. There's a lot of wolves. Taking them all down. A lot of first for me. New engraving unlock. This must be the herbs Lycaon wanted. Alright. Where else are the herbs? along this river. This should be enough mandrake herbs. That was easy. Time to go back to the physician. Collected enough wood in this game to build a nice uh, Fortnite fortress at this point. Here. I found your herbs. Thank you. I'll prepare these for my patients. Could you please stay a while? I'll wait. I've crossed the herbs so they'll be easier to take. Could you please bring them to my patients? Just tell them they're for me, Lycaon. I thought I brought you more herbs than this. 
I needed to save a double dose for my grandmother. I'll give it to her soon. Sure. I'll just deliver the rest then. Thank you. All my patients are in and around the Hora of Delphi. One should be at the animal pens to the west. One is building a house in the northeastern corner. And uh, one works in the fields to the south. Come back here when you're done. I'm sure I can find them. What an a-hole. Now I gotta deliver their stuff. Lecaon made this medicine for Thanks. you. Thanks. See, I take care of these beasts, and Lecaon takes care of me. Too bad nobody takes care of him, though. What do you mean? His parents died young. His grandmother raised him, but then... She was born under a cursed star. Never mind that. He's a good boy. I'm sure he is. <laughs> These herbs are from Glicaon. Oh, thank you. That physician is so thoughtful and so handsome. It's too bad he's decided not to marry. Why not? He just told me some nonsense about not wanting to burden an innocent woman with his worries. Personally, I just wish he'd been honest and said I'm not his type. I wonder why he'd say that. Lecaon sends his regards. The medicine he promised. Thank you. Tell me, did he look well? He didn't look sick to me. I've seen him up and walking around at all hours mumbling to himself. He seems worried. I should bring him some sweets to cheer him up. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. I delivered all your medicine. Seems you have a lot of people concerned for your well-being. Thanks. Um, my grandmother, Praxithea, I have to bring her the last of the medicine. Will you come along with me to her house? I think I need your help. Yes. I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, thank you. Please, my grandmother's house is this way. Thanks for coming with me. Why do you ask me that? If someone is impious to the point of doing grave injustice to people as well as the gods, do they not deserve punishment? What did Praxithea do? She spoke false prophecies for years. Those who came to her for advice received only lies. Your grandmother was an oracle? Yes, up on the hill in Delphi. She confessed to me recently that she never had the gods and only repeated the words she was told. Told by vile people with evil intentions. Exactly. Wars have been fought over those words. She can't be left unpunished. I... My family was torn apart by a false prophecy. If it was one of hers, I may take matters into my own hands. Lycaon, I know what you want to do. You'll just bring more shame on our family. I don't want to do this, Agavi. But for the sake of justice, we can't let Praxithea live. It's out of our hands anyway. Some strange men were searching the village today, looking for her. I brought them here, and they dragged her away. What kind of justice is that? You wouldn't understand. She was an impious old fool. Now we have nothing more to worry about. Who are you anyway? I'm Cassandra. I've also been wronged by a false prophecy. It might have been your grandmother's. If we don't find her, we can't settle any of this. Please help me figure out where she's been taken. I'll look for clues. 
What did you expect me to do? All that talk about killing? A solution showed up, so I took it. Praxithia must have lost this bracelet in the struggle. But no ordinary thief would have left something so valuable behind. Have you seen anything strange going on well, around here? Well, if bandits taking over my cousin's farm is strange, yes. What did they do? Gave her a running start. She can't go back there. They've set up camp, and they're armed and dangerous. Interesting. Where is that farm? It's not far west of here, but I wouldn't mess with those bandits. Thanks for the advice. There's gotta be one more clue somewhere. This looks like a contract. Deliver the package to the drop-off and don't damage it. If they mean Ligaon's grandmother, chances are she's alive. Praxithea was kidnapped and brought to a farm west of here. The bandits were hired to deliver her alive. But thank you for figuring that out, Cassandra. I'm no fool, Ligaon. Your sister put Praxithea in great danger, and you've been asking me about killing. Do you want me to end her life? No. It has to be me. I need to kill her. She's your grandmother, and you're no killer. You should give this more thought. She's my responsibility. I don't want her to suffer. That's why I asked you for Mandrake. It's a painkiller. But for now, will you go to the farm to stop those bandits? I don't think I can take them all on myself. Let's go find Praxithea. Thanks, Cassandra. You said the farm was to the west. I'll miss you there. Let's do this quest, just keep carrying on. What's the next one? She's near the center of the sacred lands of Apollo. She's being held in the farmhouse. Oh, that was easy to find. Let's go. Praxithea is being held prisoner. Probably just a bird, but I'll check. Flying it outwards. Oh, poon. No, I got spotted. That's it, let's go. Keep him over there. I would have been able to bash him right off. 
You are, thank you, my child. We must get away from here. Could more bandits be coming? Please, let's get out of here. Might think you are safe, but if I need to, I will take you out. Thank you for saving me, dear child. Don't thank me, voice of Apollo. Or were those someone else's words you spoke? So you've met my grandson. You're right. I lied to everyone. I am so sorry. The gods should have killed me by now. Instead, they made me live with my remorse. Why did you spread lies? People trusted you. You were supposed to bring them the word of Apollo. I didn't plan to, not when I was chosen to be the oracle of Apollo. But I met people there who told me I must speak the words they asked, or else my family would suffer for my disobedience. Family? Do you remember telling a Spartan family that their younger child must die? A grieving mother with eyes like mine. I am so sorry for what you have lost. Who wanted you kidnapped? These brutes didn't come up with the idea themselves. Please, don't ask me that. The ones who want to punish me now, the ones who told me what to say, they would bury you alive if I told you about them. The ones with masks and dark cloaks. The cult of Cosmos. Do not speak their name. Grandmother. Did she tell you? Is she the oracle who brought ruin on your family? I'm sorry for what I've done. I accept my punishment. But please, don't let my grandson kill me. Likaon's a good man, a healer. This would break him. No, this is my responsibility. I must be the one to end her. <laughs> I've killed enough people to know that violence has no end. Better to move on and make the best of the lives the gods have given you. Move on? But you said Praxithea ruined your family. She can do no more harm. Killing her for revenge won't change what happened. Besides, didn't you tell me something about hope? Thank you for your mercy. I promise I will do good with what's left of my days. You're right, Cassandra. I might not be able to forgive my grandmother, not right away. But she can go on with her life, and I with mine. I think you've made the right decision, Likaon. Ah, oh, how do you do this? Decide who lives and who dies. How do you do it, Likaon? All those lives depending on you, needing your healing and kindness. I... I think I need you, Cassandra. Not to kill anybody or find anything. Just to stay with me. I can't stay forever, but for now, let me take care of you, healer. <laughs> Take the third with time. go level up to 18 not seeing anything else around down here there's the main mission there's a uh, battle of the nation I just want to go up there and try and take the boron again. 
the right weapons and abilities. Maybe completely fa you know, feasible. Kinda confused. What the hell? I also have two weapon slots now. Was not aware of this. It's going to increase my stealth. Upgrading the boat is something I gotta do, but uh, I don't haven't used it too much yet. Once we actually head back out on the seas, I'll consider upgrading. Let's go, Phobos. Sorry for any static. Once in a while, the cable likes to make noise, I don't know. Seems right where it plugs in, I'm not sure. Hopefully the, uh, the cable is the one that's doing it. Because I have a backup rather than the actual piece that controls my volume and all. change my weapon. Let's go and check. I haven't I didn't even notice I could do it yet. I thought I had to unlock it so I just never thought about it. 
If I can change it, that's messed up. It's a major game changer. So I can run a heavy and a light, be able to take on different types of targets. Switch range to weapon. There's switch melee weapon. It's right on the D-pad. Roger, roger. Let's go, you mother effer. He's getting a higher level, I swear. Like, every time I run into him. I swear when I first thought, fought him, he was like level 13. Now he's 16. Maybe he was 16 the whole time and I just misread it. Our job's gonna be to chop him up. Put him in soup. Game's legit giving him health because I'm battling him and it let out there. This is what's wrong with this. This is why I stopped doing this every single stream so far. Like, seriously, Assassin's Creed? F off with that shit. The dumbest concept in the world. Give him health back. So you walked out of the arena for point one sec. I have to take him all the way back down. I had down to 30% for nothing, I guess. I feel like I go into his cave. Where he might be. When you come here to get him, and it'll be like, oh, left the arena. It's gonna call his little butt buddies once we get him down to like 60% health. And then again at like 20. Kick him that way. I'm gonna keep him in the arena. That's it. Time for a lesson. Yep, straight up bullshit. No matter what your level is, this is one of the dumbest things I've had to do in Assassin's Creed game. Every single time you get bullshitted. This is as frustrating as those damn elephant fights in the last game that uh, were just a major pain in the ass until you learned how to do it. And it's a friggin' hog. There's absolutely no reason for this. Like chopping it with a sword somehow barely gets damaged. get him near the cliff and kick him off it would just be a miracle then one he wouldn't have backup two he would probably die instantly he won't go further out Yeah, here we go with the bullshit health thing. Leaving the arena. But the hog is all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do we attack? Let's go out of the arena. Dang it. I like how they stay full speed while I'm in slow-mo. I just want to point this out. A few things I really think I've learned from this specific battle that this game needs to fix. Because they're still they're like charging full speed at me while it has me in slow-mo in the arrow. At least slow time down with me so that everything is moving the same speed. I understand sometimes you can perceive time differently, but still, geez. Shout out to Jordan, what is up? Welcome to the stream. I think Jordan was here when I first started trying to beat this BS mission. I leveled up a lot since then and it's still BS. It hasn't changed. It's a lot of just running in circles. Waiting to get some arrow. So I got the board down pretty good. So I'll chop them up real quick. He's not happy that I'm killing his little buddies, but that's what he gets. It's me and you, bud. Oh, little boy angry. Oh, Assassin's Creed gonna bullshit me. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So cute. Yep. Alright, we're gonna move on in the game. That's all I have patience for for this. It's just utterly BS. None of the boars run in a tangential line like I do as we saw like the entire battle for five minutes and then of course he perfectly tangentially runs into my assholes. That's enough for me. There's really nothing special for completing that so... It is time to move on to actual fun gameplay. Again I'd rather fight the damn effing elephants again than that boar any day of the week. Which is kind of sad because the elephants were supposed to be way tougher than a boar could ever be. Where can we go? So I have the mission up here. I thought about going down in the Locris. I'm not sure if we do that naturally or what. It's pretty far away. You can see there's a fast travel. Save a little bit of time. There's no fast travel there. Closest one seems to be right here. Temple of Apollo.
To answer chat, I'm doing alright, how are you? Welcome again to another stream. Just uh, enjoying my last stream of the day, other than that damn pig. I was so close that last attempt too, uh, we ha I had him down to like one third health. And pretty much the fact I didn't job, I mean, uh, what's it called? I didn't move out of the way. I got screwed. That's all I came down to. I didn't dodge the attack and uh, that was it for my wonderful character, Cassandra. On the first part of the journey. Honestly, didn't give me any roads. And appreciate it. Glad that you enjoy our content. Started out a little bit rough back in the day with our content. You'll know some of our uh, top videos will be like 8 likes, 6 dislikes. Those are the videos we started with. And just random... No commentary tours like GTA homes and stuff, but uh, you know, when it has like thousands of views, like you know, 3,000 views and eight likes, seven dislikes, I'm obviously not gonna pull the video off uh, YouTube, so kind of keep them around. But we've come a long way. So, uh, yeah, it's been a gamer my whole life, I'm about having fun here, not not enjoying myself so let's try to keep the channel chill also through these games oh that was an easy kill did it bring me through? We're in this is random path here. That's way too high of a level place for us. It's in the 30s. We'll come back to there later on in the game. Where the viewpoint was showing up. I was simply venturing into this new area. There's only like two or three markers. And then we can head into the main mission, I think. And uh, continue on. From there. Go find one. Here's our first place in Locris. Was it one one commander and one treasure or something? Two loots. I should try to stay One is in that ten. No, it's not. It's right there. Why is the leader out front? Is he trying to get murked? Figured, why not? Oh crap, what's going on? Why is it coming up here? Just let them come up here. Makes my life easy. Could be dead. I'll investigate. No! No! Getting away. 
It's like, please come up here. There's a nice cliff I'd like to kick you off of over here. Bring all your butt buddies too. Come here, you big, big baby. Why do I have the worst weapon available out? There you go. Oh, there's way too much company up here. I don't like this. Time to get rid of you, bud. Peace out. Oh, wrong person. I was trying to kick six. I was about to say 16. This guy who's attacking me right now. Huh? Oh, he was so close to going over. Poof. Wow. Assassin's Creed. Come on now. He's at the edge and he's not going over. Again, WTF is going on. This is cheap. How you guys gonna fail like that in this game? Try this dude. Will you go off? Not even who I was aiming at. Lion. I really was. You, you officially screwed your chances, bro. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. If anything, I'm gonna make you pay for that. Is there any fire around here? These guys not have one fire going? Is that one in the background? Even though it's on fire, I don't think I can use it to my advantage. Aw oh, man. How could this happen? Oh, you're not getting out of there. Since I couldn't shoot a fire arrow at his little shelter and handle it in the manner I attempted to. We'll do it that way. That's right, lion. Have your way. Let's see, we got this dude over here. I'm gonna pay the bounty. Quite a few people over there. There's probably nothing in Alpinos. Just guessing off the bat. It's one of those random 
BS missions. Start making my way up here. Come on. It's a cool little town though. This new chapter. Uh, nah, this ain't no legendary animal mission by any means. This is actually the main storyline. So it'll be better. PGS presents Assassin's Creed Odyssey. An old enemy and a new ally chapter. The Odyssey quest, Memories Awoken. We have to talk to Arodotos at Thermopylae. Probably butchering it just like Origins. Let's go ahead and this is go talk. Was laid to rest. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day, but their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Herodotus? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts, but to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something.
Damn. Uh. Hirodotos. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well, but treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived, a coward. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I convinced myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone. Like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal, and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind, and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. So we're gonna find and enter the mysterious structure. Will you be traveling with us? So the structure is located on the island of Andros. So first we must find this island. It is way down here. It's in the western part of the abandoned forest. A huge door protects the entrance. Well, now we know where it is. Thanks, people, for setting pictures. <laughs> We're going pretty far. We're going all the way down to Andrews. I was planning to finish out this area here, Locris, but we will come back another time. I have business to attend to in Athens. Herodotus is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Herodotus on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension, and all we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Herodotus and I share a history. Like in Pinor? He is... was. 
part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they do. And I believe they will hurt others who oppose their views along the way. I am me! The Oracle lost his corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who needs them? I don't know for sure. Weird little lag spike or something. Your brother! By Zeus, your life is complicated! Tell me about it. But don't you worry! This cult of power. Hey, watch how you move, foes. And one of them fights like a pinar! And six guns are my shooter! We'll bring the wrath of the gods down upon them! Is he holding this positive? Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon, carry us to others! First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then! We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship if we're sailing into war. What do you mean? Well, she's old, and perhaps not in the best condition. You couldn't have said this before we set sail. Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from- What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates! I was gonna stop and check it out, but we'll just continue on. Ah, oh, what are you shooting at me? I'm just passing through. Some is that Athens right there? Something's right there. It's your boo. We should pick up that. It's recommended to go here in chat, but since I'm working on this mission, I'm just staying focused. I'll come back here at some point. Obviously, you're gonna have to come back in the vicinity anyway, for the higher level areas as well. I'm not sure. The site where the great Theseus slayed the vicious Cretan bull. Oh, that marathon. You're both hopeless. To your positions! We'll crash them! Why are you attacking me? Leave me alone! We're making some pretty decent time on getting to this island. It kind of takes me back to Black uh, Flag without being in Black Flag. I, I wasn't a huge fan of Black Flag. I mean, there's people that really enjoyed it, and I'm not one of them. I won't lie. It's probably one of my least, my top three of least of you know, favorite Assassin's Creed alongside Assassin's Creed 3. I really like two Brotherhood Revelations, uh, Unity Syndicate, Origins, and Odyssey. I didn't have a chance to play through Rogue completely yet, so in the future I'll play the remastered edition. Perhaps it's trying to guide you, show you a power. There's more. It helps me in battle. What do you mean? I can't really describe it. It's like I know what my opponent's next move will be just before it happens. Fascinating. This is just extraordinary. We are approaching the island of Angus, Cassandra. Yes! Here we can see the tomb of the greatest Myrmidon, Achilles. too bad. In real life these distances probably are not four miles by any means. Just saying. Oh my god, it's a bear. 
Right at maul my head off. Gosh dang it. I ain't fighting you, bear. I'm on a mission here. He's just angry I came to his homeland. There's bears everywhere over here. I found my family. Alright, are you serious? I know it's here, okay? Here it is. This epic ass door. Is that a door? I've never seen How do I get inside? I wonder if Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know, Mater. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong. But you're not taking action. I was going to. I know. But it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Leonida's spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. Oh shit, so Cassandra's his granddaughter, what? I felt something. Leonidas. The spear. It has magic. Carries with it a long line of power. A bloodline of incredible heroes. The same blood within you and me and our family. All of us? Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share in his blood and the strength he possessed. We are able to feel certain things happening around us. That is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we're untouchable. Storm's coming in. Then maybe we should move forward now. I haven't forgotten you. Damn, look at this cave. How does a place like this exist? The hell? This is crazy. It reminds me of the origins. Explain this to someone like Mark. Places that we went to through that playthrough. Something's glowing. 99% sure we just come up here and do something up here. Possibly this door right here.
Charge activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronicity. Contact engaged. It's Alethea. Cortana's cousin. She lives on. To answer chat, I never played God of War. Uh, it's always been a game on the list of things I would consider someday. you stay in the Animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Cassandra didn't just have Isu technology. She had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Cassandra. No time to rest. Abstergo goons could be tracking us down right now. And the rest of us will be ready for them. If you burn out here, our mission will be done. They told me you had a cheerful bedside manner. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist. So, Doctor, how do you feel now that we're closer than ever to the staff? I believe this staff is important. But the Templars and Assassins have found staves of Eden before. Nikolai Tesla blew one up in Russia, if I remember correctly. This is different. If what I saw in Egypt is true, this staff doesn't control minds. It controls physics. Time. Imagine rewriting the rules of the universe. The spear you found is right here, and it's not doing anything. The spear is attached to a bloodline. Leonidas, Cassandra, and Themos, I mean, Alexios, they were intimately connected to it. Are you sure you can use the Staff of Hermes, then? No. But if the Templars get it, they won't stop until they find someone who can. So, what do you think of my new Animus? You mean, our new Animus? That's Abstergo equipment. Which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. It's an Animus console prototype, Brahmin variant, with the I.O. capacities pushed to their max. Ultra-portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. I'll go stretch my legs. Too bad we don't have access to the Abstergo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much. I should check my email. Fascinating. Layla, can you believe we're meeting Herodotos himself? I can. He sure does talk a lot. Is there anything I can help you with? So does what I'm seeing as Cassandra match your research? I had to tweak the Animus to use what we have of the book as reference. That book is a lost work by Herodotos. He basically invented the concept of recording history. And other figures are matching up too. Cleon, Pericles. The chance to see the past firsthand is why I joined the Assassins. Most people would talk about justice or leaping across rooftops, but history's cool too. I've loved history since my grandpa told me stories about his grandpa back in Ireland. He was an adventurer and sailor, so I'm continuing the family tradition. I feel so lucky. You make your own luck, remember? Why do people keep telling me that? So I've met Irodotos, but I don't know much about him. He's brilliant. His histories are considered the foremost textbook of classical Greece. People have made their careers analyzing his words for some new perspective. To see him in his own world, walking in the polis, and... Sorry, but he's kind of a hero of mine. You can fangirl all you want. Yay! I'll leave you to your work. If you need anything, just let me know. What the hell's my email? Is it this one? I thought that was the computer. 
the hell is all this crap? Email. Oh my gosh. I ain't got time for all this. Wow. Thanks for double checking 15 times. Is there any easier way to do this? Who wants to read all this? The hell's audio? The last book of Herodotus, the spear of Leonidas. Good enough, bye. Had enough of that crap. Eagles are fine and all, but a pet monkey would be even cooler. Oh, that was random as shit. Back in here. What? The Easter egg. That's funny. What? 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 <laughs> I wonder if the Fry Twins would still recognize London. A rooftop's still a rooftop. Uh, they might recognize parts of London, but definitely not the whole city. Especially with the skyscrapers. How's it going out there? Well, no threats in view. I'm glad we could work together again. I believe our working methods are compatible. Are you still upset about our last run-in with Abstergo? I'm sorry, I didn't realize those hills in Quebec were so steep. But hey, you and your Yakuza reflexes saved us. Sorry, ex-Yakuza. We're all alive and our injuries have healed. That's what matters. Of course, I'll return to the Animus, then follow the trail Irodotos left to find the staff. But there's so many possibilities, so many choices. There's no way to know which ones are right. You used to run part of the Japanese Brotherhood. What would you do? Take things one step at a time, observe their act, or kill everyone and search their pockets for answers. You decide. Thanks for watching our backs, Kiyoshi. I'll leave you to your work. I'll report in if Abstago drops by. Let's see. Looks third echelon. What the hell? Splinter Cell Conviction Easter egg. Looks third echelon. Or was it fourth? Too bad we had to leave before we could drink some more caribou. <gasps> ah, drink of the blood of the caribou. It's a way of life. Are you sure you want to go back into the Animus right now? I get the impression you'll be there a lot. Yeah, shut up. Yes, I'm ready to go back to Cassandra. All right, I'll be watching your back. What a crazy lady. She's like yelling at me to t take a nap or something, and I just walk around the room and get back in, and that's good enough. Not cool, lady. Not cool. Get out of here. F off. <laughs> We have up to 30 minutes left in today's stream. Again, uh, if anything, everything goes to plan, I'll be streaming this tomorrow, 8 to 10, 10.30 to 12.30 or something like that. In the morning. Yes, the morning. I never do that, but uh, as of now, we're planning to pick up a puppy tomorrow, so that's going to consume most of my day once that happens, obviously. But I'll be back to streams Friday with Black Ops 4, so don't worry. B. 
spear is stronger now. The cult won't stand a chance. So now we need to wander out of here. Head back out. Well, Herodotus will be happy. It's clear someone was here far before we were. It's ancient civilizations, bro. Did Leonidas know this place existed? It is nine dark in here. Alexios, aka Deimos. Basically, the other character I would have been if I chose the male character in my playthrough. This is kind of where they start connecting. Brother and sister, basically. You're not hard to track. Did you come alone? Are you alright? <laughs> Alexios, you're alive! Don't touch me. <laughs> come on, little brother. You have to tell me everything. What's happened to you? I don't have to tell you anything. I don't know you. Well, I know you. It doesn't matter. There's more important things to argue about. You're right. Like that stunt you pulled with the artifact. It got my attention, if that's what you wanted. What? The artifact showed the truth. We're family. And we made it out of Sparta alive. <laughs> yes, it did show the truth. It confirmed what I always knew. You threw me off a fucking mountain! If that's what you think, Alexios, you must have hit your head on the way down. I've heard this story, and not from a liar like you. And never call me Alexios. Right. Demos. Now him, I don't know. He's a demigod. Worshipped and feared by the cult and all the Greek world. Let's uh, try a nice path. Like a fantasy to me. Did the cult cook that story up too? I'd watch your fucking mouth, or I'll shut it for you. You didn't when you had the chance before, and I bet you won't now. This is stupid. We need to find our mother. <sighs> I'm not interested in reunion. I just want to know what you think you're doing. Same thing as your cult. Looking for Mirini, our mother. They don't need her. Your cultists think differently. She's their next target. If they ever pursued her, it would be to kill her. But if you don't know where she is, that means she abandoned you too. How sad. Even if we were abandoned, we survived. We can go back to the way things were if we can find her. The cult has no interest in sentimentality, or family. Its only aim is control. If they're after all of us, there's one less person to find. I killed Nikolaus. Yet here you are, acting so righteous, when really, you're just like me. I don't care what you think. I'll find Mirini. Do the right thing. Come with me. What? We could find her. Together. You could help me. <laughs> oh, you think friendship is the answer? Running around like lost children looking for dear mother. You're so weak. 
Weak? I've had to kill for much longer than you've had to. Oh, I'm so scared. I have an army behind me. One false move, and you're obliterated. That's the plan. Taking your own mother isn't enough for them? We're not abductors. We're political. Those who don't stand with us, stand against us. And they pay for that mistake. Like me. Like you. I heard you're planning a trip to Athens. When you go, tell Pericles and his elitist scum they're next. The cult let Mirini live. They let Nikolaos live. Why kill them now? Because you live. You brought this on her and yourself. The cult is powerful, but they're mortals. I have the blood of gods, so they think you do too. But they'll see how wrong they are. I'm going after the cult, you know. You've seen our numbers. You've seen what I can do. And you still think you stand a chance? Try me. So having guts runs in the family, does it? <laughs> you claim we have the same blood. So let's see what you can do. See if we avoid conflict here. We still found each other, brother. I told you not to touch me. Damn. Demos! She should have Sparta kicked him right off the cliff. Where'd he go? Alaka. Herodotus won't believe this. I have to tell him what happened. There's a lot of bears here. Look, a boar and a bear going at it. Well, that ended quick. I'm going for the positive ending for anyone who's wondering. Yeah, I could just kill everybody, but... A spoiler alert. Again, spoiler alert before I say this. But it'll mess up your quest line. You won't get to experience some of the quests. Like if you killed your father, per se, your father. You'd miss out on a whole status quest later in the game. If we fought him, I don't know what would have happened. I'm trying to extend this as long as possible for positive outcome. Was the legend true? Was it magnificent? What happened to you? And your Slow spear? Slow down, Irodotos. My spear's stronger now. I can feel it. You were right. There was some kind of artifact there. It showed me a vision. Of me and my mother. So... The ancient civilization is real. Cassandra, you have no idea the power you possess. All harnessed in Leonidas' spear. That's not everything. Demos followed me here. The cult's already moving, he told me himself. They're going after us. My family, Pericles... Why would he tell you? Unless it was a trap. It doesn't matter. We have to get to Athens to warn Pericles. And we need to find my mother before they do. Then, we go to the Penix. If Pericles is anywhere, he's there. So there you have it. Memories Awoken. Quest complete. That is that quest. Quite a quest. Would really appreciate if you like and sub. Shout out to J Smoke, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Another shout out to Jordan for watching. 20 minutes left. And answer chat, I did try to fight that legendary pig again, but as usual, he's he's the pig god. He uh I'm like battling him and he battles me and pushes me out of the limits for the battle so he gets his health back. It's like the most BS thing ever, so I'm kinda of far from it anyway. That was all the way back here in focus, uh right there. I also think the recommended level has been going up with my level. I swear it was 13 before, now 16. I'm not sure what's up with that. We came all the way down here as part of a journey. And we got some new quests. I'm holding off on From the Shadows. But we got the Spear of Leonidas. And we got the road up here to welcome to Athens. Where is Athens at? I'm interested to see where that is. Where is it on the map? It's 
It's not giving me any markers. WTF chat? Atika. I'm not sure if this is going to be a track or if it's at random, it has no destination. I think you just play through the game and as you go, you get this done, maybe. You have to like explore the map, find the locations. Let me check something out here. Is there anything here worth looking at? I don't think there's anything out here at all. There's no bases, no towns, nothing. And a quick check. Do we have any side missions that are nearby? No, they're even further away at 8,000. Well, screw that. Gather resources and upgrade your ship's hull. Achievement. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Upgrade the address here for the first time. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Horrible rendition of the song. Custom made by myself. Let's see what we got here. It's a bunch of hogwash missions. Current objective, return to your ship. Is that literally, what do I do? I'm here. Complete it, well, that was easy. Upgrading this uh, ship to max is definitely part of my plan. Say with this time remaining, we try and do this odyssey on getting to Athens. That'd be pretty good. And thank you for the uh, comment on Athens is below Beodia. Let me set up real quick. And I'm going to record this whole journey from here. TGS presents Assassin's Creed Odyssey chapter. What the heck? Hold on guys, the software froze. Thanks for anyone watching live, but I don't know if it's even working. What is it doing? The whole program just jolted across my screen. Now it's working again. There we go. That was weird shit. Alright, let me try recording again, guys. Give me a sec. We also move that up. I actually tapped it. TGS presents Assassin's Creed Odyssey Chapter The Road to the Symposium. Odyssey Quest, welcome to Athens. We are 18, 1.8 kilometers away to make it simple. We're going to reach Attica. Attica. Uh, pretty much. We're just going to start making our way here. It's below this area. Oedia. We were just in uh, Megaris not too long ago. This is Atika though, right here. This entire thing, but the actual city, I'm guessing, is over here. I haven't yet to step foot into here yet, so we have a lot to do here. A lot of locations. Get on our journey. Hell's ready for you, Commander. Here we go. Better watch out. Better not drive in front of me. I'm not gonna move. That's it, you guys want to go down?
Sometimes I kick him over, boy. Chess, what am I doing? That was a completely unplanned part of the journey, but add some excitement into the trip. Take come on, let's go. The rest to just leave them in the ocean. Oh look, they're all following me, how cute. They're little boats. Tika. Oh my god, we're going full speed into the shore. That's why I went to a black screen. We couldn't see what happened there. That would have been pretty damn terrible. <laughs> it would have ended very badly for quite a few people there. When you're ready, meet me at the Pnyx in Athens. Go horse. Yeah, away we go. Let's begin our journey. Ratika, the land of democracy. Perfect place to move from Kefalonia. Damn, there it is, look at that. Here we are. Come on. One of the Prince of Persia locations.
Romans may draw near to our walls, but we must come together now for the glory of Athens. Glory for you! <laughs> Friend, friends, please! Just because the Spartans are near our walls does not mean we can act like them! A good crop! Shame the Spartans burn the fields where it grew! The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? How many tree rams could we have built instead? We must not become divided! We are divided! And the Spartans are winning! Act, Pericles, or I will! Oh, good. You came. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Stay back! She is no threat to Pericles, I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? Nothing to say? Others would do well to realize silence is as much of an answer as anything else. A crowd will seize the very first easy answer that comes its way, like a hungry dog on a bone. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely, and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Cassandra you'd invite her to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If she's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? We're all after something, even you. Hmm. You're better at reading others than you let on. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Medijos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There is an ostracism vote taking place that could use your... Uh, influence. Meteochos. You said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism? Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist, Anaxagoras, and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. <gasps> Alright, quest completed.
And we're officially in Athens. Would appreciate if you like and so. So we're technically out of time. This is a two hour stream. We're two and a half minutes from the end. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, shutting down. Just refer to the schedule for more streams this week. TheGamerSociety.com Peace out to Smoke. Good luck with your Sims 4. Here are the three new quests we got. The road to the symposium, the current chapter I'm working on. So we'll be working around this region a lot. Uh, it's a pretty big region. As you guys can see from the map, Atika goes all the way up to here over to Megaris. Includes the isles here. So we're going to work on all these locations at some point. Let's quickly check my inventory. I have a better bow now. There we go. And better boots. As for achievements, still 41 to go, absolutely crazy. Check this engraver your first item thing real quick. So apparently to engrave you have to just complete certain tasks. So you have to kill 20 mercenaries with it. Kill 10 leaders. Reach certain levels. Stuff like that. But that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Tune in tomorrow for more streams. No other streams today. Peace out.